And if you have a teenager heading to Lollapalooza, it's not just crime on your mind. Music festivals are notorious for drugs and also alcohol. And that's why experts say it's really important you sit down and have a chat with them. So joining us now to talk more about it, Lurie Children's Substance Use and Prevention Program Medical Director Mariah Ramondar. And doctor, thanks so much for being with us. And I think for a lot of folks, they're, they're sort of nervous about it, anxious about it. How you get, how you get that uh, conversation going with uh, your children? Tell us, tell us how that's done. You know, having a conversation about substance use is something that you it's not a one and done. You want to do this over time. And having your kids go to a concert is a great trigger to have that conversation. Um, you know, talking to them about, you know, what other people in, you know, their age might be doing, their thoughts around alcohol and drug use. And you can also talk about your expectations around avoiding use um, and what the rules are in your house. Dr. Ramondar, you know, when you go to some of these festivals, they're just passing this stuff around through the crowd. And one thing that we talk about a lot on the newscast now that is extremely deadly is fentanyl. What would you say to teenagers in terms of how to stay safe, especially with the rise of fentanyl and just passing these drugs around? What would be your advice there? Yeah, I would just say that fentanyl could be in anything. Any pill, any powder could have fentanyl in it. And fentanyl can be deadly. Certainly other drugs and a combination of drugs can have a deadly effect, but fentanyl is so powerful. So I would encourage people to stay away from pills and powders, especially when they have no idea where they're coming from. You know, having Narcan or Naloxone on hand, knowing how to use it could save your life or save somebody else's life if you're around somebody who might have come into contact with, you know, uh, too much of an opioid like fentanyl and have a potentially deadly overdose. Right, brings up a good point. I, I think some teens may head to a music festival like Lala and think maybe they could sort of get away with something, maybe try a drug for the first time. Um, but as, as you can attest to, and we talk about all the time, uh, one time can be too many times. You can get unlucky and that could be it, right? Yeah, it can be. Fortunately, usually it's not. Fortunately, Teens can try substances, though, you know, I wouldn't recommend that as a medical professional, but they do. Okay, and usually it does not end up with death or substance use disorder, but the scary thing is right now that youth overdose rates are rising faster than any other age group, and so we just really need to be careful and be prepared. And so in addition, we talked about naloxone and having that reversal medication available, which hopefully they do have that at the concert venue, um, but you can also carry that yourself. Also, fentanyl test strips are another way that if you do decide that you want to use something that you can test it for fentanyl and some other fentanyl like substances before you do and make a decision about whether or not you're going to take it then interesting that you bring that up because we had video playing showing that long line of people getting their hands on that free naloxone over at Lollapalooza Dr. Mariah Ramondar with Lori Children's Hospital thank you so much for joining us thank today you.